I'm gonna make myself some hot chocolate. Five things that I do when I first get into the production office. You have to do the research. It really all starts with the research. That's a great question. Let me spell it out for you. So I've landed in the production office and I thought, why not give you five things that I do when I, uh, you know, when I first get into the production office. And those five things are, the first thing I'm doing is setting up my station, my domain. So I'm making sure my desk is all organized. I got my big monitor. Uh, I'm setting all that up. Uh, I, I also want to make sure that, uh, you know, I got all my power cords and everything. I'm linked to the printer. Everything is all about getting uh, connected to everything that's in the production office. Okay, that's number one. Number two is I go see the director. First thing, I want to download with him or her, you know, how the flight was, what, what have you been up to, what cool locations they've been seeing, because most of the time they've already been out seeing locations I'm brought in later. Uh, so they've already been with the production designer seeing locations. So I like to just say, you know, what's exciting them. Um, then I, from that point on, I was like, hey, you know, then I moved down and I want to go to the production designer. I want to see uh, how, this is number three, uh, is how, uh, you know, what look boards do they have up on their wall? Every time I go into a production designer's office, it's unbelievable. You start to see the whole movie on the walls. And uh, depending on what movie it was, when we were at safety, we were in this weird office space that had all these, you, you got lost in there. It was like a maze. So Hoover, Richard Hoover, the production designer, did all his look boards down the hallways. So it was this it was this amazing experience. You experienced the whole movie every time you walked in the office. And it was so intelligent. I was like, I'm gonna steal this. This is so good. Because a lot of times I'll be going to the bathroom and like, whoa, that shot, that, that, I'm gonna do something like that. It's just a, on a look board. So the production designer, I'm going right there. That's so, so huge. The fourth one is I'm going to the, go to the production manager. I'm just gonna sit down with the producer and the production manager and just say, hey, how's everything going? How's all, how's my crew? Are we able to start making the deals? Can I get my operator coming in from Los Angeles? You know, we just start to set a groundwork. Uh, and you know, I've sent li preliminary lists already to him or her. So I just wanted to see, you know, talking about bids, what's going on, anything that uh, I'm just downloading with, with the production manager. And the last place I usually go is the locations department. Those individuals are the life of the movie because with bad locations, you fail. So this is something that I wanna understand who the key location manager is. I want to know, uh, you know, what their idiosyncrasies are, how they scout. Uh, are they a virtual scouter with 360? Do they take pictures uh, and then place them together? You know, I've obviously been going on the uh, Location Scouts uh, website prior to landing because they usually post them on Dropbox or, or some kind of a link that I can go in there and look at. But I'm, I wanna get and, and to know them because they're gonna be fighting to get the locations that are difficult and you wanna befriend the location manager, huge. And there's my five tips with getting started on day one.